We are gathered here today to commit to the sea the remains of our fellow shipmate. And we do so recognizing his honorable service here in the Pacific Ocean to our Navy and our nation. Lieutenant Junior Grade Mark Rockwell Pate, born 25 August 1983 in Visalia, California, and passed away on 11 November 2023. Mark enlisted in the United States Navy in 2004 and served as a mass communication specialist. He was commissioned as a public affairs officer in 2015, then chose to transition back to civilian life in 2020 in order to support his wife, Allison, and continue service as a GS. Mark served right here aboard USS Ronald Reagan, a ship which he is proud to have been a crew member from May 2006 to February 2008. Over the course of his career, Mark deployed 10 times. He served multiple warships and led a combat media team within Naval Special Warfare. Mark was committed to excellence earning six warfare designators. He was honor graduate at jump school and dive school and a distinguished leader honor from a variety of Navy trainings. As an MC and as a public affairs officer, he was known for a reputation of inquisitiveness, confidence and tenacity. And he lived a team first mentality. He never accepted the way things were but persistently pushed himself and others to reach higher. It was even written into one of his evals that he is a force to be reckoned with. Mark loved and was devoted to his wife since they met in 2003. Together they shared a life of adventure and a love for the outdoors. Mark lived well, he lived fully, and he surrounded himself with people of integrity and he left the world a little better off than he found it. His example is a model for each of us today to embrace life fully. It is the honor of the current USS Ronald Reagan crew to fulfill one of Mark's final requests for his shipmates to commit his remains to the deep. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we've gathered here today to lay to rest our fellow shipmate and sailor, Lieutenant Junior Grade Mark Rockwell Pate. Thank you for the privilege to take part in this ceremony, to accompany him to his final resting place, and to provide comfort and closure for his wife, Allie, and for those who knew and loved him. We remember his service to our country, and we thank you for your divine appointment in creating him and leading him through 16 years of honorable service. As we take part in his burial at sea, help us in this ceremony to remember that death comes to all of us and is another season in life. Help us to be thankful for Mark's life and the example that he set for each of us. In your holy name we pray, amen. Burial detail, attend, hut. Burial detail, present, arms. Unto Almighty God, we commend the soul of our brother departed, and we commit his body to the deep, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, 
in sure and certain hope of the resurrection unto eternal life. Amen. Burial detail, order, arms. Burial detail, parade, rest. Ronald Reagan, at ease. Chaplain Jason Olvin will now deliver the invocation. Good morning, I invite you to join me in prayer. Gracious God, we start this ceremony by acknowledging that you are the one who gives all good things. And as we reflect upon the time that we've had as, with Captain Cardone as our CO, we are certain that it has been a good thing. We're thankful for his integrity in leadership, for the compassion he has for all those he leads, for his faith in you, for his guidance to us to listen intently, learn continuously, and lead courageously. We humbly ask your blessing on him and his wife, Kate, as they transition back to the Pentagon. May they draw even nearer to you in this coming assignment. May their marriage flourish and may they remain closely connected with each of their girls, Emma and Gianna. And while we celebrate a successful tour by our outbound leader, we are excited to see how you will use Captain Gregory as our new commander. May your generosity abound to him with all the necessary strength, courage, and patience needed to command this mighty warship. And for us, the Reagan crew, May the coming season be one of character, courage, and competence throughout the ship with all the transitions we're going through and will continue going through in the months ahead. May you be our guide, deepening our resilience, strengthening our character, and empowering our teams. We pray all this in your holy name. Amen. Well, Chaplain Olvin will now deliver the benediction. Once again, I invite you to join me in prayer. Lord, as the authority of command passes from bone to T-bone, may we be reminded of the great responsibilities of leadership. May we reflect upon the commitment and sacrifice of those among us who work faithfully and diligently to support our mission, and also remain mindful of those families who steadfastly stand alongside us every day. Lord, may we use this occasion to celebrate our ideals of freedom, courage, honor, and peace, and to dedicate ourselves anew to those values that we hold so dear. May each of us embrace new challenges with the highest of integrity and character, and may you, the God of all creation, guide us in the coming season. In your holy name, amen. Ronald Reagan, attention. Boatswain, stand by to pipe the side. <laughs>